Hi there. Welcome to PA Consulting Pro and welcome to another episode of Azure Fundamentals. In this episode, we are going to talk about the shared responsibility model, cloud models, and also we are going to talk about consumption based models. I'm sure you have heard about the shared responsibility model, but you may not understand what does it mean or how it impacts cloud computing. In the last video, we talked about the cloud computing. What is cloud computing, how it can be benefits for you, and what are the key terms that you should remember while working with cloud computing. The shared responsibility model is all about understanding who is responsible for what when it comes to security and data protection in the cloud. It's crucial to know the division of responsibilities between the cloud service providers like Microsoft, AWS, Google, etc. and the consumers like you and me. The model emphasizes that the cloud service providers take care of the security of the cloud, which means they handle the security of the underlying infrastructure, network and physical data centers. You can consider it like it's a shared responsibility of maintaining the cloud computing. There are some of the services or the part of the responsibility that are going to own by the provider and there are some which are going to own by the consumer. On the other hand, customers have responsibilities in the cloud like managing access control, servicing their applications and protecting their data. And that's how it's a shared responsibility where some part is going to be done by the provider and other parts are going to be done by the consumer. This model is essential because it ensures a collaborative effort in maintaining a secure and compliant cloud environment. It's like a dance. Both the cloud service provider and the customer needs to perform their respective moves to keep everything in sync. I believe now you are getting where I'm going with it. Imagine the cloud service provider as the guardian of the fortress, protecting the foundation and infrastructure of that fortress. Meanwhile, the customer takes on the role of the gatekeeper, managing accesses, securing applications, and safeguarding data within that fortress. By understanding this cloud responsibility model, you can better assess your security needs and implement appropriate measures to protect your valuable assets in the cloud. It is like having a clear roadmap for a successful cloud journey. So what does that mean for you? Are you aware of your responsibilities when it comes to the cloud security? Have you ever considered how the shared responsibility model impacts your organization's data protection strategy? Well, as you can see on your screen, you would find the different models, that is software as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, or on-prem. And also you would find the responsibility, like where, who's performing, what kind of responsibility. There are some performed by Microsoft in this case, because we are studying Microsoft Azure, where Microsoft is the cloud provider, and we are the consumer. And then there are some of the shared responsibilities as well. You can pause this screen right now and have a look. And let me know in the comment section if you don't understand any of these. Now let's define the cloud models. I'm going to simplify things for you. Cloud models are like different flavors of ice cream. Just like you have different options to choose from, cloud models offer different ways to use and interact with the cloud. Over here, we are going to break down into three different models. As I mentioned, we have software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. Now, let's talk about them one by one. The first model is infrastructure as a service or IaaS. It's like having the building blocks to create your own ice cream masterpiece. With IaaS, you have control over the underlying infrastructure like virtual machines, storage, and networks. It's perfect if you want more flexibility and customization. Microsoft would provide you the platform and other services that you would need to provision and with the help of that you can create your own infrastructure. The second model is platform as a service. It is like going to an ice cream shop and picking your favorite flavor from a range of ready-made options. Platform as a service or PaaS provides a platform for developers to build, deploy, and manage applications without worrying about the underlying infrastructure, which was the storages or maybe virtual machines or maybe networks. So you don't need to worry about them. It's a great for focusing on coding and innovations. Now coming back to the third model. 
The third model is a software as a service or SaaS. It is like going to an ice cream parlor and enjoying a ready to eat ice cream cone. You don't need to do anything. You are going there. You are just going to place the order. Software as a service delivers fully functional applications over the internet. So you don't have to worry about installations or maintenance. It is convenient and perfect for accessing a variety of applications on the go. For example, Microsoft Office 365. It's also a cloud-based service. So you are directly using software as a service over there. Now we are going to talk about consumption based model. All right, let's break it down in simple terms again. A consumption based model in cloud computing means that you only pay for the cloud resources you actually use. It is like paying for your utility bills, electricity, water or gas. You are billed based on the amount you consume. In the cloud world, it works similarly instead of fixed plans or upfront cost. The consumption based model offers flexibility and cost optimization. It allows businesses to scale resources up or down according to their needs and pay only for what they use. It's like a buffet. You choose what you want to consume and you are charged accordingly. Let me give you an example. Imagine you have a small business with fluctuating demands. Sometimes it goes up, sometimes it's going down. In a consumption based model, you can easily adjust your cloud resources as your needs change. During busy periods, you can scale up to meet the increased demand and during slower periods, you can scale down to save costs. It's all about paying for what you are actually consuming over there. With a consumption based model, you are in control of your cloud spending and can optimize cost based on your usage patterns. So what do you think about the consumption based models? Have you ever considered how this model can benefit your organization or business? Share your thoughts and experience in the comment section and I would love to hear more from you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe our channel and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest tech videos. As always, feel free to suggest topics for future videos in the comment section. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, keep exploring the exciting world of cloud computing, embrace the consumption-based model and I'll catch you in the next video. See you in the next video.